Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to go over how to create a carousal. And uh, if you don't know what a carousal is, basically um, what you see here is a carousal. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll show you what other types of carousals are. Um, J carousal. Okay, let me go here and show you a demonstration of what other carousals look like. C um, simple carousal. So this is an example of a type of carousal. This is the one that I'm going to be showing you how to create. It's more versatile. Um, and what I mean by versatile is uh, the main reason I'm making this tutorial is because if you check out my carousal, you can actually click the links and you can go to a new page. Whereas if you uh, go to this one, if I check this one here, I, I, click, I can't even click it. And um, I, I tried using uh, this particular 1J carousal for clients, uh, for one of my clients' websites, and I had to make these into images. I couldn't do it. I tried looking through the J carousal um, development uh, script, and it was just too much of a pain in the butt. Um, and, I, and in the end, the end, I decided to create my own. And it was actually a lot easier and a lot simpler than I thought, because if you uh, take a look at some of these um, open source uh, carousal applications, they're really complex. Like they're like 30 kilobytes of pure code, and that's like 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 five six hundred lines of JavaScript that you have to go through, and you don't need all that. And in fact, if I take a look at um, uh, my carousal, this is my HTML page. Uh, oops. And ah, okay, there you go. So if you take a look at my HTML page. It's that's that's pretty much it. That's all you need. This is just the main part for the carousal. It's all in a div called carousal, um, uh, carousal container. And of course, you have the jQuery file, and this is the main one, carousal.js. And if you take a look at it, I've commented it out a lot, and it's still only 53 lines. So pure code, it's like 20 lines. That's that's literally all. That's literally all you need for uh, for this. Um, application and um, I want to show you guys that sometimes making an application is a lot easier than you think so I'm uh, mainly doing this because when I first looked at jQuery uh, J Carousal, I was like wow this is super complex I'm never going to be able to finish this stuff on my clients in time and then when I actually started creating my own looking at other people's tutorials looking at uh, other websites downloading their JavaScript and their um, carousal applications and customizing it for my own use, I realized it's actually pretty gosh darn easy. So uh, that's pretty much it. And um, of course I've set it so that every five seconds it moves to the right one one time and then if I hover over it it stops the automatic move uh, feature. So if I move my mouse out of the um, carousal and wait five seconds, one two three four five okay <laughs> I guess that was five seconds it starts again so every five seconds starts doing that again and if I move my mouse over it one two three four five and it's not moving anymore and of course you can uh, go to the left infinite amounts of times whereas in jcarousal if you go all the way to the end you can't you can't go anymore you have to go back it actually like fades out the button fades out and that's how this one works and I, I needed one that all looped infinitely as well and that's all my code it's super easy and of course the way I've done it is I'm not going to code it with you guys but instead I uh, I made it a very detailed uh, commenting uh, in the JavaScript file the main one that you'll be uh, looking at and I explained every single little bit so you can uh, experiment um, try new things with the code yourself uh, one thing I didn't mention here is I did have I did run into some trouble because of the way that I positioned it um, apparently if uh, the, the way how I position, position this, um, you use the main CSS file, of course uh, there's the CSS file as well that I um, made, it's really small. Uh, it's global CSS, of course you have the CSS reset, and this is pretty much it, like, what, like 30, 30, 40, about like 40 lines of, 35 lines of a CSS code is all you need. And the main thing is I used overflow, because um, it's infinite, and then I, I'm con continuously positioning the furthest right element to the, the furthest uh, left or vice versa depending on which left or arrow uh, button I click. And I've hidden the extra portions that I don't want to see that overflows out of the div um, with uh, this particular line, overflow hidden. And apparently in IE7 and 6, uh, if you use this property, 
it actually doesn't work and I had to figure that out through the CSS. I did not include how to do that in the CSS files or in the comment sections but um, you have to basically depending on how you structure your HTML code you have to uh, basically fool around with um, uh, the, the position relative and position absolute values and you have to play around with the, the position of the div tag. I eventually figured it out but it, it is a bit of a pain uh, pain in the ass and you have to you do have to figure that portion out uh, because of course this is just um, uh, just the the uh, carousal portion here but in any normal website you want to move this carousal and implement it inside your website with your other elements and your other div tags and such and that's uh, where I kind of had the problem because I had to I, ha I had that particular um, div that contained the carousal in an absolute position dot element and I just had to figure that out for IE6 and 7. Um, just, just giving you a heads up that it's to do with the position uh, elements mainly. If you Google it, you'll find uh, plenty of um, uh, other blog posts uh, discussing that particular topic. And of course, this is on my home server, but I'll be uploading it to the um, to my main website, www.freetutorialsrock.com, and I'll be uh, posting up a demo link there as well. Um, I hope you guys, uh, and of course you can also include uh, margins in between the pictures. I, I didn't do that here because um, uh, I guess I didn't really feel like it. But if you do that, all you have to do is change the image width um, in the JavaScript and the CSS files. You'll know which ones uh, I'm talking about once you read through the, uh, the comments that I wrote. And you can have margins here, like here there's like 10 pixels of margin in between the pictures and you can do the same thing. Um, and of course you can make it go more than one image to the right at a time or to the left at a time. You can change that in the JavaScript. I've made it as simplest as possible just once over each time. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys uh, um, find the files that I give you guys for free uh, pretty useful. You can, you can of course use it on your own uh, websites without any attribution to me. I want you guys just to learn the best from it and um, uh, have fun. Alright, then I'll, I'll peace out and I'll see you guys next time.